Today I'll be showing you how to paint caboodle cabinet doors. For this project you'll need some scrap pieces of timber, pre-packed doors, stirring stick, can opener, sandpaper, roller and of course a drop sheet. This is a raw caboodle door. The first step in the process is to sit the door onto some timber chocks to keep it clear of the work surface. You'll need to lightly sand the edges with a 240 grit sandpaper. Once you've lightly sanded the edges, give the surface a light wipe down to remove any dust. When you're wiping down the surface, preferably use your hand. You can feel the dust and remove all residue. We're now going to apply the undercoat. Make sure you stir it thoroughly before using it. If you've got a number of doors to do, water-based sealer primer undercoat will enable you to do the job faster. When applying the undercoat, use a 5mm mohair roller to give you the flattest possible surface. The flatter the finish you get with your undercoat, the better the sheen level in your top coat. When applying the undercoat, roll the flat surface first and the edges last to prevent dripping. When the undercoat's completely dry, give it a light sand with the 240 grit sandpaper and then dust down the panel. Now we're ready to apply the top coat. I need to give the paint a good stir. I'll be using a mohair roller, which I use with the undercoat. It can leave a slight texture. If you're after a smoother finish, you can use a high density foam roller. For our door panels, we'll be using the color Dulux Teal Tree. Spread the paint out evenly on the panel and then lightly lay off from one end to the other. The first coat of colour is dry, give it a light sand with 240 grit sandpaper, dust it down and the panel is prepared for the second coat of colour. Under good drying conditions I would be leaving the door for 3 hours, but a good 24 hours before trying to fit hardware would be preferable. And that's how you paint a caboodle door.